This is how I would solve the first example problem from the double digit multiplication video. I will show you how to solve this one two different ways. Let me get my scratch paper ready to go because you need a lot of it for this one. All right, to begin, I will write down my number, my equation that I'm multiplying on the top of the sheet of paper, my blank sheet of paper, 21 times 12, because that's the equation we're gonna start with. Then I will start and I will form the second number in the equation at the top. I'm gonna to do this two different ways, so you know, the first way I like because it's shorter, but the second way is way easier. So we're gonna form 12 at the top first. Next, we've got to multiply each of these by 21. So for one bead here, we have to make a group of 21. So we have one and two, we have 21. Now I need to make with, for this bead, a second group of 21, which gives us 42. Now we are moving one row up to our blue row. So now we need to move one row up from our ones place to our tens place and from our tens place to our hundreds place. So our hundreds place, our tan row, is now our theoretical tens place. And our green row, our tens row, is our theoretical ones place. Now we need to multiply 21 by one. So we need to add 21 to give us our answer. We write it down, 252. So this is one way to do it and this is how your abacus should look. Now I'm going to show you the second way. It's a little longer and I might speed up partial, partially through so we can get through this video relatively quick. Now I'm going to write 21 times 12 on the top of this sheet of paper again and on this side I'm going to tally up. I'm going to use this side as my notes and this side is going to be my tally for how many groups of 21 I have. All right, so let's get started by clearing our abacus, and we're going to make one group that's one group of 21. Then we make that's two more groups of 21. That's a total of three groups of 21. One, two, four groups, and five groups of 21. And we can move these back and move this forward. This is 5 times 21, but we want to get to 12, so we need to go 1 and 2 more. That's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 groups of 21. Now we can move both these rows back and we have 10 groups of 21. We have to add one more bead for this group of 10. Now we need to do two more groups of 21, so we have one and two. Now this gives us 12 groups of 21. This one wasn't too difficult, but it did take a little longer to do it this way. So if we write down our answer, again, our answer is 252 and I did go through the second way a little quick, but if I don't, it takes a long, long time. But it also helps that we didn't have to take any notes on this side of leftovers. Now, if we look at our answer from the last sheet, they're the same thing, just different ways to get there. So your answer should be 252, and your abacus should look like this.